Friends and family are remembering the life and legacy of Lavelle Davis Jr., a football player who was killed in a shooting at the University of Virginia earlier this month. News 2's Kevon Dupree attended a vigil that was held this evening at Woodland High School and heard from Davis's peers about what he meant to the Dorchester County community. A vigil was held here at the Woodland High School football stadium Wednesday night by the 2020 graduating class to honor their classmate Lavelle Davis Jr. Friends, family, and classmates celebrating the life of the former Woodland High School football star. On behalf of the class of 2020, I would like to thank you for coming to join us and honoring the life and legacy of Lavelle Tyler Norman Davis Jr. Members of the 2020 graduating class say Davis was an inspiration to many of his peers. We could always count on Lavelle to challenge us to be the best version of ourselves every day every hour, every second. And teammates say the standout wide receiver from Ridgeville brought that same passion and intensity whenever he stepped out on the football field. He was the, he was definition, the definition of a leader. Of a leader. No, matter no matter how, how the game, the game was, was going, going whether, whether if we were, we were winning, winning or losing, or losing Lavelle, Lavelle always, always made, made sure, sure we stayed, we stayed motivated, motivated and encouraged. And encouraged. Davis's former high school coach and principal say his attitude toward life assured them that he had an extremely bright future ahead of him. Lavelle was as, as, as good as they come. He was as determined as a kid as I'd ever seen. Everything that he wanted to do and wanted to accomplish, he did it. His life, his actions were the greatest testimony of who and what he was. Many still trying to find closure after losing someone they call one of the most selfless people you'll ever meet. I'm trying to be one of those leaders, you know what I'm saying? And like, when things are going bad, try to, even though it's hard, but you know, try to pump positivity out, you know, try to, like, let's keep going, guys. Like, we got this. When tomorrow starts without me, please try to understand that an angel came and called my name and took me by the hand. We've learned that Davis's funeral will take place in North Charleston a week from today. Reporting in Dorchester County, I'm Kevon Dupree. Count on two.